If you're thinking about investing in Phoenix, you may find that in 2021, your money doesn't go as far as it used to. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. I will be your host. And today I'm working with two clients, Larry and Tammy. You guys are investors in Phoenix. And what we have found, right, what a lot of people in your situation have found is Phoenix is hot. And I'm not just talking about the weather, man. The pricing in real estate in Phoenix in 2021, dude, it is through the roof, right? And you guys... You did a 1031 exchange. You have a quarter million dollars you got to spend, right? But you don't want to do it in Phoenix because your money does not go that far in Phoenix. So you come to me, you come to Holton Wise because I can help you invest that money in lower cost markets, markets where you can stretch your money much further. And today we're going to be going over a quad that the pricing is unlike anything you would have seen in Phoenix. And of course, my company will be able to handle everything on the ground for you, the property management, maintenance, insurance, etc. Let's jump into that after this quick commercial break. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Welcome back. We're going to jump right into the property, do the numbers, check out the investment. Now, this property, it's not even active yet. It's coming soon. 3221 Poe Ave, Cleveland, 44109, right? As you see, zero days on the market, right? Uh, what they're doing, it looks like the listing agent and the seller, they're creating a bidding war, right? As I talk to you guys today, what is it, like the 5th, I think? Hold on, let me... I don't even know what day it is. Yep, it's the 5th, okay? As I talk to you today, it is the 5th. What they've done is they've placed this on the market and they've said, hey, we're going to get multiple offers. We're going to respond to all those offers on the 18th, right? So we have a considerable amount of time between now and then. So what that seller and that listing agent, what they're trying to do is they're trying to, to develop a bidding war, right? They want to make sure they expose the property to as many investors as they possibly can to drive that price way up. And what they did is, you know, fairly clever. I kind of like it, actually, as a strategy. They priced it at 179 right? I do not believe 179 will take it down. Yes, that is the price they offered, but I think what they're doing, and I'm purely speculating here, but I believe... Uh, that they priced it lower than they really want uh, to just help drum up even more investor interest. Because the way things are going in the Cleveland market, this particular property would and should sell for much more than that. In my opinion, I think we are going to have to spend approximately $200,000 to take this one down. Because with this rent roll, right, long term you're looking at three thousand dollars a month 36k a year right at the price of 200k i believe that would be a 22.3 percent cash on cash return with a 9.4 cap right you take your 36 that you're supposed to get right you add your fixed and variable expense estimates in there it should be an noi of a little bit shy of 19 grand right eighteen thousand seven hundred thirty dollars all four of the units are two bed, one bath, right? You, it's it's not even like one building either. It's just straight up two duplexes, which in the Cleveland market in this particular neighborhood, you know, they're going for 100K a duplex, right? It's super simple, right? Now, looking through them, yeah, it's not like super amazing or super special or anything of that nature, right? This is just what your typical Cleveland $750 a month rental looks like. Now, in addition... Uh, to them being a little messy, one other drawback, which I want you to be aware of, is the current market rents on all of these are not the 750, right? According to the listing agent, we are getting 650, 650, and 600, and then there is that one vacant unit, which is being advertised for rent, okay? So I do not believe at this moment any uh, repairs are needed. But again, as you can see throughout all the photos here, 
it is not like the the Ritz Carlton or anything of that nature, and it's not a new building, right? These two buildings are, are pretty old; they're over a hundred years old. So, when you do your inspection reports, folks, you have to understand what you're buying, right? You're buying a hundred year old property that is, you know, it's going to have some issues, right? You're going to see an inspection report with deferred maintenance. All that stuff taken into account is why I still believe you need to spend $200,000 on this. Do I think you're going to get two brand new roofs? No. Do I think you're going to get uh, four brand new furnaces? No. Brand new hot water tanks? No, absolutely not. But the return, the money, the numbers, it just makes sense. There's going to be a ridiculous amount of bidders on this. Another thing about this neighborhood, too, I consider it to be a, a high D-grade neighborhood. But it is my favorite neighborhood in the Cleveland market, right? And those people that watch my show frequently, you guys know I talk about this, right? This is the property. This right here, this is a hospital. It's called Metro Health. They're investing a billion dollars into that campus in the surrounding Clark Fulton neighborhood. You are a hop, skip, and a jump. If your tenant was walking their dog, they could easily walk their dog to that hospital. Billion dollars going into that hospital, this neighborhood. They've even committed to doing low-income housing. You take that fact coupled with the fact that this neighborhood is just south of some other neighborhoods that have seen a lot of gentrification over the years. Your Tremont, your Ohio City, your Detroit Shoreway, your Edgewater, right? Locale, you're right bordering those nice neighborhoods, and you're getting a billion dollars injected into this particular neighborhood. I love this area. If I'm going to bet on a low-income neighborhood in the entire Cleveland market, having the most chance of appreciation and and uh, becoming a, a, a gentrified and higher-income area, this is the neighborhood I'm going to bet on. Now, that's speculation, of course. Will that happen? It remains to be seen. But if we're doing speculation, I like to speculate when I see actionable steps taking place so for that reason i'm high on this uh, this quad this set of duplexes i think they are a solid deal and i think you're going to need to come at least twenty one thousand dollars over the list price to take them down thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment